All right, I thought I'd do a video on opto isolators and just this whole concept of isolating and using proximity switches and micro switches all on the same three pins and how that all works. So have here a, uh, this is that proximity switch that pretty much everybody can order. They're like three or four bucks and they don't take any external connection. All you do is you just put metal in front, a little red LED comes on and it becomes a switch. The, uh, there's two ways to hook this up. We can either use a micro switch to turn the opto isolator on, or we can use the proximity switch. Now to do that with just three pins that I found is a, maybe a little tricky, but not too bad. Um, this is a basic opto isolator. You have a light emitting diode inside the chip. The light sends, or the LED sends light to the phototransistor, and the phototransistor is like a switch. So you know, over here in the nano, you use the pull up, so there's, this is normally high, so there's five volts here, a little bit of resistance. And then when light is present, then it pulls this low and the nano reads that as a zero. You turn the light off again and the nano reads that as a one. So just using these four pins, we have, what is it? A couple thousand volts isolation between our input and our circuit. So that works really well. So how do we do this? We have to now power this, this, uh, this LED. So we take this and then run it through a resistor, current limiting resistor to our plus 15 volts. Terrible writing. And that's around one kilo ohm. And then that limits our current through here. So if we wanted to run a micro switch, all we do is run this out to wherever, to our steering wheel, to our motor flipper, and then run that to ground. So when we close the steering wheel, close the switch, power comes in through the resistor, comes through the diode, and then with this is connected, we have a complete circuit. Turns the light on, tells the nano that we've closed the switch. Now the worst thing that can happen is if you ground this out, or short it out, or It'll just turn on if you hook 12 volts here or the same 15 volts, then it just can't go backwards through the diode. So nothing happens, even if it could, it's just the same potential signal current flow. So this is a very, very, very safe way to do this. And that's the whole concept of isolation is to make sure that uh, you don't short anything out. Okay, now backing up and using the proximity switch. So we have our plus 12 volts here. And then this now, this load is this entire circuit here. So just like making the micro switch, when the, the uh, proximity switch, which is just sub coil and an amplifier, and, and then it turns the base or provides current for the base of the transistor, the opt isolator turns on. And now instead of this being just a simple micro switch, it's a touchless proximity switch. So now current goes through, goes through our 1K and our diode and to ground and it turns on. So, okay, so now how do we hook it up? So remember we had this switch here before. Right. The ground, we do the same thing here. We leave the, the brown hooked up to our power supply, which is this guy here. This black now, which is our load, goes to here. And of course our blue just heads to ground, just like before. So this then just is exactly the same as this switch. You can actually, I think you can use them both at the same time even. So that's how we get our three pins. We have uh, one pin for, or only, only need two pins for a switch. And we need three pins and one more to provide power for the proximity switch. I hope that makes sense. It'll make more sense when you see it on the circuit board because you'll see three holes and they'll be labeled brown, black, and blue. And if you want to just use the micro switch or yeah, micro switch, you hook there. And if you want to use the proximity switch, this is 12 volts and then you just hook the brown, the black, and the blue, and that's the same way as doing it with a micro switch. So fairly simple. 
Um, I'm not sure how else to explain it, but I think you catch on. Anyway, thanks.